I come to the Marine Biological Laboratory with students to uh, study some of the marine life at the MBL, in the surrounding waters of Woods Hole, and to do research on a couple of different projects. And bringing the students to Woods Hole and to the Marine Biological Laboratory is a really new, unique experience. Uh, the MBL is a world famous institution and the students get a chance to interact with world-class scientists, Nobel laureates around the campus. And one of the main focuses of the MBL is to use marine models to study human disease. In my case, I'm working with my students to study the amyloid precursor protein, a causative agent of Alzheimer's disease. And for that work, we're using the squid giant axon, a famous model used here in Woods Hole. For the past 50 years, the MBLs collected squid using a commercial fishing boat, and they bring them in on a daily basis. And the students and faculty dissect this very large nerve cell from the squid, which makes them very easy to study because of their size. Over the past few years, we've identified uh, the amyloid precursor protein as a, a protein attached to a set of vesicles that move along these tracks inside the squid neuron, and we're trying to figure out what the role of that protein is so we can gain a better understanding of what its natural function is and what goes awry in aberrant cases in Alzheimer's disease itself. And the students are working on that biomedical problem here at the laboratory. The second big project that we have is to try to identify all of the species in Narragansett Bay. We want to build a photographic library and attach that to a DNA barcode, a thumbprint, sort of a molecular signature for each species. And for that project, we've collected a variety of marine organisms from the bay. We collect on a weekly basis. We photograph them in the photographic studio in the laboratory using a variety of techniques from underwater photography to confocal fluorescent microscopy to electron microscopy. And then we use a DNA technique called DNA barcoding to try to amplify a short segment of the genome from each of those species that serves as an identifier for that particular organism, that particular species. So the students in my lab from Providence College are here in Woods Hole, and we have some samples from Narragansett Bay, and we're working on both the photography side of the project and also the molecular side to try to put together a database of all species in the Narragansett Bay. Students at PC have many opportunities to get involved in research and to really have a hands-on approach to both learning and to understanding how research is done. We have many active laboratories that span from molecular biology to global ecology in nature. And there's many wonderful faculty at PC teaching those courses, and it's an active learning environment. You just don't uh, learn from the book, uh, but you learn by performing, by hands-on experimentation.